interrupt your program for a special report. The leaks from the wreckage of Deepwater Horizon Rig 50 miles off the coast of Louisiana are already far worse than initial projections. The blast has likely claimed 11 lives and the remains of the rig are hemorrhaging 210,000 gallons of crude oil into the Gulf every single day, five times more than the original estimate. Officials say the spill, which is rapidly approaching the coastline, could last up to 90 days. President Barack Obama toured the staging area for the response efforts to the Gulf Coast on Sunday. The president vowed that the administration will do all it can to mitigate the environmental and economic disaster. We're dealing with a massive and potentially unprecedented environmental disaster. I know this is terrible. Mr. President, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I heard there's a product called SOT11 by Oil Treatment International from Switzerland, which might be able to help. It's a new invention already tested by Bioaquatic in Carleton, Texas. Would you like to know more, sir? Just talk. Okay, I will. Actually, let me show you a film that explains it. Oil Treatment International, OTI, is a Swiss-based company which brings to market a new and revolutionary non-toxic granulate called SOT11. SOT stands for Solid Oil Treatment. This product was developed over a period of more than 20 years in order to remove oil spills from the surface of the sea. It ensures complete degradation of spilled oil by natural bioremediation. Consequently, a completely new deployment technology had to be developed in order to apply the non-toxic granulate to the oil on the water's surface. In cooperation with our various partners, this technology was extensively tested in natural, sensitive environments. For small spills, the granulate is brought to the site in 25 kilogram bags. This situation requires a smaller size deployment device, which would also be used in harbors or at river locations. SOT11 consists of granules from non-toxic, totally natural minerals, which are chemically inert. For large oil spills, a 20-foot container was converted to ensure quick transport and swift action at sea. The polluted water surface is first dusted to prevent the oil from spreading further. For medium-sized spills, the SOT11 product is filled into weatherproof standard big bags, which fit directly into an easily transportable rapid response deployment device. My administration will continue to use every single available resource at our disposal to address the incident. Well, I guess you're going to want to see how it works then. Crude oil has very complex and varying molecular structures, consisting of hydrocarbons and additional trace elements such as sulfur, oxygen, nitrogen, metals, heavy metals and powder of diamonds. Through the process of adhesion, triggered by the deployed SOT11, the oil is trapped and sinks through natural gravitation to the bottom of the sea.
Immediately after the adhesion process, the water column is almost clear and no interference with sea life occurs. Already during the sinking process, further samples are taken to verify the right ratio of the product in proportion to the oil requiring treatment. After the particles have sunk to the bottom, flora and fauna continue life as usual. Based on the existing physical properties, the oil is firmly bound to the SOT11 and is in no circumstances released back into the water column or to the water surface. Tell me the truth. We are telling you the truth. There is a test report from BioAquatic, the laboratory used by the EPA which proves it, as well as many testimonials and certifications in other countries such as the UK. But we cannot use it because it has not been certified here yet. But many other countries have already given their okay. I agree with that. Yes, we can.